everybody welcome to the impressive channel there are a couple of things i want to get into in this video first starting with the actor michael b jordan and the socialite lori harvey it has been confirmed by people that michael and lori have broken up after only dating for over a year according to a source it says that they both are completely heartbroken and they still love each other but they chose not to be together now I did find this statement interesting. It said Michael matured a lot over the course of their relationship and was ready to commit for the long term. He let down his guard with her, opening up emotionally in a romantic relationship for the first time, adds the source. They had great times together and brought out the best in each other. From reading that statement, it sounds to me like Michael was serious about the relationship and he probably was planning on marrying Lori. He probably proposed and Lori turned him down, who knows? Now, if this were true, I wouldn't be surprised by it. Michael B. Jordan is 35 years old, so he's at an age where he wants to settle down. Lori, on the other hand, is 25. She's still young and she's probably still figuring things out with her own life and career, and she might not wanna settle down just yet. Also, it is a possibility that maybe Michael and Lori were together for PR purposes. It definitely helped Lori in a lot of ways because she not only was able to get into some elite spaces in Hollywood, but she was also able to launch her own skincare line called Skin. So Lori was able to elevate her celebrity profile by being with Michael B. Jordan. Prior to dating Michael, she already had some celebrity status. I mean, she is Steve Harvey's stepdaughter and she was already a hot topic on the blogs due to her relationships with people like Diddy and Trey Songs and Future, etc. But being with Michael B. Jordan was different because he gave her some prestige. He allowed her to get through certain doors in Hollywood. So I do think the relationship helped Lori, at least from a publicity standpoint. Do I think it helped Michael in the same way? Not really. I don't think it made much of a difference. The most it did was it helped his image amongst his female fan base because this was the first public relationship he ever had. And not to mention, it was with a black woman. And this of course helped dispel the rumors that he wasn't into black women. But I don't think his relationship with Lori made much of a difference in his movie career. And it's possible that maybe they broke up for that reason. It probably was a contractual relationship, who knows. But based off of the statement, it sounds like Michael wanted to go into a more serious direction with their relationship, but Lori wasn't ready. That's what I got from their statement. But anyway, moving on, D.L. Hughley's daughter recently came out and slammed Monique for bringing up D.L.'s family in her rant. Now, if you don't know, Monique and D.L. Hughley have been feuding this past week, and it all started over a disagreement about them being a headliner for this comedy show. Now, both Monique and D.L. were under the impression that they were supposed to be a headliner. Monique had her contract drafted and signed off first. However, the promoter went behind her back and brought D.L. Hughley on as the headliner. And this of course caused a lot of confusion. When it got to the day of the show, there was some conflict because D.L. Hughley allegedly said that he would not perform if he did not close out the show. So Monique was very upset about that and she went on this whole rant against D.L. and it was just a mess. I feel sorry for Dale Hughley's family. I feel sorry for his motherfucking wife. Cause how do you suck the dick of a coward? Since this rant, DL and Monique have been going back and forth on social media. DL talked about her on his radio show and Monique clapped back at him on Instagram Live. They just been going at it and they both were doing this to kind of get the public on their side. That's what I think. But from the outside looking in, I now see that the promoter is more at fault because the promoter was the one who made them both believe that they would be the headliner. So in this instance, I wouldn't fully put the blame on DL or Monique, but Monique was definitely blindsided and she also was offended. She was offended at how DL handled the situation behind the scenes and she was offended at what the promoters did. So she definitely had a reason to be upset. I understood her gripe. However, I was turned off when Monique started bringing up D.L. Hughley's daughter. 
Now, Monique posted this old interview that DL did with Sway in the Morning, and in the interview, he admitted to something that was very, very, very unsettling to me. Check this out. I lived across, I lived next door to a dude, man. He, he was my, he was, he took me to the free clinic. He told me about life. And he also was with his daughter the whole time and went to jail. So it's, to me, he's always going to be the dude mm. who, who did, everybody's do. How come when people do stuff like this, they're always above reproach. Nobody ever believes them. And then it's always a lot of victims. Mm -hmm. And it's always, in, and, and the reason it hits home to me is because my youngest daughter said something happened to her. And because it was somebody I like, I didn't believe her. Mm. And I, I'll never get that back. She'll mm -hmm. never, I'm supposed to protect her. And I'll never get that back that she got, she told her father something and he didn't do nothing about it mm -hmm. because it was inconvenient. Now, what Dio admitted here was very sad to me. It was very sad to hear that he didn't protect his daughter from his friend. That's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. I understand that he was owning up to his own faults as a father, but it's despicable to be honest. And also he didn't have to bring up his daughter's trauma on a public platform. And Monique did not have to bring up his daughter's trauma in her feud with DL. When you start addressing the character of the man, when you really look into what is happening, when a man says, I was not strong enough to defend my daughter against a really, really good friend of mine, because I didn't want to jeopardize the friendship, though he apologized, you have to ask yourself, what kind of demons is that man dealing with that he couldn't stand up to the predator of his child, of his child? But that same man goes on his radio show and talks about people as if he was sitting in the meetings, as if he was making their life decisions, as if his opinion mattered in their choices. So when I say, listen, y'all, it was important for me, for me, to make that post because there are so many little girls out there with daddies like DL. When I hear y'all saying, mind your business, did you say the same shit to DL when he talks about everybody's business? See, I didn't put DL's baby out there. It's an interview that's out there. DL told the story. What I did was posted the story to say, look at the character of the man. And that's- Look the, at the actions. The actions of the man. See, what happens is y'all, when you listen to this man speak so much about Kanye West, and how he's stalking this woman and all that he's doing and didn't understand that man was trying to protect his babies. You spoke, and if you did that to my daughter, I would do something about it. Well, you're talking with a full tongue because something was done to your baby. Now, I'm not going to lie. Monique did make a good point. D.L. Hughley has a lot to say about a lot of celebrities, but when it comes to the issues in his own home, it's a different story. However, I don't agree with Monique speaking on his family at all. I understand that she has an issue with DL, that's fine, but bringing up innocent parties and bringing up another woman's trauma to prove a point is not right at all. And I think it would be a good thing if Monique just apologized. She doesn't have to apologize to DL, but she could at least apologize to his family because she didn't have to bring any of them up. It's just not necessary. DL's oldest daughter did address Monique in a very long post. She said, hi, Monique. I'm Ryan Nicole Shepard, DL Hughley and LaDonna Hughley's eldest daughter. You've now publicly disrespected my mother, who I love and care for very much, and my baby sister, who I love and care for very much, to get back at my father, who I love, respect, and care for very much. At this point, I feel like you are asking my family and myself to act out of character. Out of all the things you could have legitimately said about my dad, if that's the route you wanted to take, you chose to be deliberately mean and hurtful to two black women who have nothing to do with this conversation. 
using my mama and my sister to show people my father's character only shows how little mental stability, dignity, morality, and respect you have not only for yourself, but other black women. You're clearly two crayons short of a full box, sis. You're disgusting and you absolutely need to keep every single member of my family's name out of your poisonous mouth. Not because you can do us harm, you can't, but because you are adding to the historical and systematic disrespect and trauma of other black women who you claim to love. And for what, a check? You're bringing up trauma for a concert lineup discrepancy? All you've done is proven that you have no moral compass. Nothing is too far in your quest to prove a point. And I'm blessed that my parents raised children who have no idea how you could possibly go here. We Hugelies are going to have a good day and a blessed life. We're healed, we're whole, we love each other fiercely and deeply. You could continue to live in that scorched earth kingdom of yours. Get some help, man, for real. Oh, and if you want to have this conversation in person, I'll happily give you my address. Well, there's not much I could say after that. She definitely read Monique. And I do hope Monique takes all of this into consideration and reevaluates how she approaches things. I was riding for Monique for a while and I stood up for her, but there are some things I don't agree with. I don't agree with how she brought up DL Hughley's family. And it would be very helpful if she just apologized and took accountability in that aspect. Once again, she doesn't have to apologize to DL Hughley, but she could at least apologize to the innocent parties involved. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.